Hi everyone, it's Nicola and Prince here. Today we're going to take you through the next stage of our building works where we did the column and lintel works. So we just want to say thank you for everyone that's been joining our journey so far. And um, thank you for your comments, your subscriptions and joining the journey that we're on. Kindly support us by like, commenting and sharing this video. We love you to subscribe. So today on this video, we're going to show you the formation of the columns and the lintels. Yeah, these are our big feature columns. They are 450 by 450 mil. They are quite big. Actually, they took about 10 bags of cement uh, at each of them. I think uh, by the time I spoke to Mike and I said one was 10 bars, I said, oh, I wish we made the column smaller. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because it's, it's 10 bars, you got three of those, it's 30 bucks of cement, yeah, just, just in, lot, in columns. So, uh, yeah. but I think, yeah, uh, they look great uh, uh, when they were all uh, cast. Yeah, we, we have to go with uh, foam work uh, instead of using plywood to form the columns because because of the size, uh, Mike was concerned that uh, it will break the, the pressure of the concrete, the, the, the box the boxing will break. So yeah, and it was cheaper uh, to actually rent this. I think uh, it was just about thousand Ghana uh, just to rent them and, and have them uh, cast it. The guy comes with. Uh, the guy over there he brought it and he helped them cast it so yeah it, it was done uh, within a day uh, the three of them uh, it was great i think it's actually a nice smooth finish as well because it's up against the the plastic it's just a nice smooth finish isn't it yeah 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 i think it's, 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 it's it was great i think it's more sustainable also that we're not using a lot of plywood and it was easy uh, it's easier work really this one is the large column at the back of the house, so the alfresco area. So this one is um, just a single one. Yeah, so at this stage you can just begin to see the building coming coming all together because when you reach in a half all your block work, you see gaps between it. Uh, it's like, where do you got that gap there? Yeah. But now you, you can see uh, all um, if you watch, together. If you watch the video right to the end, they, you see that we've got the two cores of block work on top of the lintels when the whole ground floor is completed. So you can really get to see the shape and sheer volume of the house, isn't it? Really? Yeah. Yeah, uh, the phone where we're, we're removed, uh, I think the following day or day before, um, two days uh, it was removed and then, uh, yeah, the problem is fantastic um, and I uh, have no issues with it. So you'll be able to see obviously, as well as doing those formworks on the large columns, you can see that they were starting to do the woodwork. Yeah, the form the formwork uh, by using the Awawa boards uh, to form uh, the columns for the remaining um, of the house. You can see here the large ones as well, the sheer walls ones, can't you? Yeah, I think this this, this guy here is doing a very great job. He's, he's, because there is a minimum coverage, the cement needs to uh, cover the iron rod. So he was chiseling the, the block away to make sure that the, 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 the columns is formed correctly. Uh, it was a difficult work using the <laughs> hammer, but they did a great job. He's, he, they went around all, all the building chasing uh, where the, the, the block was too close uh, to the iron rod. So the, the guy, he, he did a, a great job. So the kitchen area, there's one meter wide columns Co and they're connected by a, a very large beam above it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, beam is also a, a meter wide. And then there is another, um, 450 wide columns uh, crisscrossing it uh, to support that large opening we, we have which is about seven and a half meters by 30 meters so uh, there is a lot of uh, structural reinforcement there just to, just to get that last uh, space 
uh, uh, open plan. Yeah, because when we was designing it, we didn't want any columns or anything in the floor space. We wanted it all open plan at the back of the house. So we had to make sure that it was structurally in, um, sound. Yeah, just in terms of uh, the number of iron rods uh, we use for our continuation uh, pillars, uh, we use 54 pieces of 16 mm, uh, 38 pieces of 12, 12 mm, then 90 pieces of 10 mm and five burning wires. We would do uh, another video um, on cost, uh, the whole cost uh, up to the lentil level ready for the decking. Uh, that would be a separate video, so uh, please look forward uh, to that. Yeah, uh, we're just doing the last columns now. Uh, the smaller columns are being done now. Then the large columns, because of the size, what we decided to do is to do them in sessions. Uh, we didn't want to buy a lot of boards. So uh, one of our friends, Julius, was kind enough to give us, uh, borrow us some boards. So we were using those boards to do them in sessions. So um, this, ones you can see now they are the last ones uh, to be casted yeah those are the large one meter ones so we did them afterwards didn't we in stages but it wasn't in a rush was we either there's no no, rush. no i think that's it's, it just makes sense just just to use the balls Julius gave us uh, to form them and, and do them i think it was just done to stage it really mm. it was all in all it was it was all done within a week anyway so it wasn't wasn't a very long time was it no. Um, yeah, th those are uh, very, very large columns, uh, a meter wide. Uh, they are. So you can really see the window shapes now. If you look, you can see the windows taking shape. Get a good feel for the size of the porch. It's the front of the house, but most people, anyone who goes to the side, thought this is the back of the house, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, I think. People think it's the back because it's so close to the wall that's currently there, also, isn't it? It's also how you assess the side because currently mm, you come through yeah. the back where one of the access will be got yeah. there. So. People access at the back yeah. because the materials, because the wall there, you can see the wall, can't yeah. you? So now you can see all, all uh, the, the columns, uh, majority of them have been cast now, the boards have been taken off. That's, that's the one, the one meter. meter, yeah. yeah. Uh, this is actually the living room that is currently in, yeah. and then uh, over the there is the study so that wall will be removed at the front there will be a compound that will be extended to the front there's another story to tell another day about those um staircases yeah, the staircase is <laughs> not, yeah. we, we moved that staircase into a different position but that's a story for another day <laughs> yes the, the cabin test just starting doing the form work for the lintel uh, in terms of iron rods, we uh, use 22 pieces of 12 mm and 38 pieces of 10 mm for the lintel. I think originally I, I wanted the lintel just to go just over the openings where we got openings. Uh, but uh, the, Mike explained to me that because of the large columns, uh, it would be better just to have all to interlock so we end up just having a lintel uh, traditional as you would normally do in Ghana all, all around which it, it didn't make sense really easy didn't it yeah. as well so this one's is the actual area where you'll be dining seating so that's a sliding door area yeah you get to see it isn't it yeah, I think it is one of the things we were talking about when we did our design video is that we would have loved that sliding door to be larger, but when you consider things you got to do in terms of security or bars, mm. then you got to yeah. build not, not the open that you wanted really because it's a, it's a sacrifice. Yeah, because on here you have two sliding doors from the alfresco. One goes to the dining and one goes to the seating, like what you'd have as a second living room. But because you have to have the security bar element of it, it kind of, in, in a way, it kind of bl blocks the visual appearance, doesn't it? So you just got to think about 
the size of it versus what you want it to look like. Yeah, because in an idea where you you want an, a, a bigger glass area, uh, give you that visual connection to the garden, but if you're gonna have a passigo that effectively taking about a meter away of your free, free opening, your glass area, it's, it's not great, but I guess it's a sacrifice you have to go <laughs> in terms of design and, uh, and security. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, back to the front here. Yeah, yeah front um, of the house. Yeah, I love, I love my columns. Ten bags, ten bags a column. Your ten, <laughs> your ten bag column. <laughs> yeah. And just to remember, we have to do those columns above as well. So get ready. <laughs> I may I make them smaller. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, this is, um, they're still better just doing the, the iron rods for the link to go in for the lintels. Yeah, the, the, the formwork is nearly complete on the lintels. So this didn't take that long, did it really, to do the lintels? No, they were there for two days, and I think it, yeah, it's, it's, it's charged reasonable just for two days. Um, yeah, it was quick, and the casting was actually just uh, a day. Uh, then they were all done. Um, ready for the final uh, block work. Just want to say a big shout out to our engineer Nelson. Um, he, he's been great. I think um, I put a lot of pressure on him. You see that video I put whereby he said he want me to save cost. I'm gonna save cost for you. Um, yeah, because I'm just continuously driving to find a better way of doing things um, because there, there, there could be some efficiency I mean, in the way we do stuff. So uh, I'm only putting, putting him under pressure. And then he, he's been doing well. Yeah, we want to, especially because we wanted a design that we wanted, isn't it? So we had to kind of put our minds together with him with what he want, what he would normally do. Yeah. Try to get him to marry the two ideas together. Yeah, I think it's one, one other thing to mention here is about the concrete specification. Uh, I think originally the concrete specification was a very high strength concrete. Uh, he was aiming for C35, which normally you would use in a commercial building. And I said, no, could we look something around uh, uh, C25? And the, the problem is when you're mixing with hand, it's difficult to achieve the exact uh, uh, mixing ratios. But what we do is um, after each concrete work, he goes and do a test. And surprisingly, um, our, our average uh, test is about 25 uh, C25, which is great. Yeah, I think um, with Mike being very clear on what we wanted for the um, concrete strength. Yeah. It worked, didn't it, with Nelson? I think, yeah, they, they both they work together very well. I think it's, it's important that your foreman and your engineer work together uh, to achieve uh, one, one, one goal, which they, they did fantastic way here. Uh, because Nelson will go after each work and go and uh, test the concrete. And then uh, Mike would say, I don't want my, my, my chest to fail, so <laughs> he's on his toes. Because uh, yeah. it's, it's important that you, you have concrete test done, uh, because people will use less, uh, less cement when you are not there. So they got to follow what mm. the engineer said they should do. But even when you see, the, we, you see videos of the cost of materials, um, when people go to these stores to buy the materials, there's different grades and different brands that are different prices. So yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. but you can tell. It's, uh, I think everyone's got their price and their budget as well. But we we just want it to be generational. The one house. of the requests we, we had uh, in the comments is to do a video on how we mix uh, uh, our, uh, our cement to a concrete ratio. So we'll be doing a video uh, to tell you how we mix to achieve the specification we, we were going for. Because at every stage, uh, when we finish our slab, it was tested. When the columns were done, the engineer went to test the strength, uh, the lintel. Every stage, you need to test your concrete. 
Mm. It's very, very important, yeah. especially where you are not there counting what is happening. My prince, you still stole the egg inside the egg. Step case, okay. okay. Study room, okay. Corridor, okay. Yes, so here everything's been completed, the columns, the lintels and the block work. One thing I love about when Mike's worked, you can just see how tidy he is. Can you see all the floors, how clean and tidy they are? It's, it's just, it's nice to see you get to see that your site's been looked after and things have been done properly for you. So it's nice, but yeah, you can really get to see now everything's completed and we're ready to go to the the next stage isn't it yeah the decking nest is a is a decking um we decided we, we're gonna uh, use a, a metal form work instead of uh, plywood we will bring you a video of the full costing of this part of the ground floor process thank you for watching our video today please do give us a like and subscribe share via youtube whatsapp and let everyone else share their learning as well thank you thank you see you next time